My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to episode number 69 of the more than 20 days to jump chemistry with Flash Isaac. This episode is to natively welcome you to organic chemistry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode number 69. In this episode, I shall be doing a welcome ceremony to organic chemistry. Organic chemistry shall be dealt with starting from now. To the extent that there are more than 20 episodes dedicated to organic chemistry. Just to make sure that you understand organic chemistry and understand it perfectly. Remember, we've covered no metals and their compounds. And one of the compounds of no metals we treated was C. O2, carbon 4 oxide gas. We said a lot about carbon 4 oxide. We said one of the tests for carbon 4 oxide is that it turns lime water milky. We also said that carbon 4 oxide is a constituent of air. Air is a mixture, and one of the components of air. Is carbon oxide. We also said that to remove carbon oxide from air, we use sodium hydroxide. We said so many things about carbon oxide. Now, what is carbon oxide? Carbon oxide is simply the oxide of carbon which means carbon and oxygen alone. Then, under metals and their compounds, we talked about the trazocarbonates of metals or the carbonates of metals. We added something like this, CO3. Let's say two minus carbonates of metals. Then you have something like CaCO3 or Na2CO3. They are the trazocarbonates of carbon because you see carbon reacting with oxygen to form these carbonates. You see, we are not new to carbon. We also said that in the periodic table, we have hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, and carbon. Which means the atomic number of carbon is equal to 6. That should be hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, and carbon. Carbon has four electrons in the atomous shape. So, from here we can say that carbon is tetravalent. It can accept four electrons. One, two, three, four, to complete its atomous shape. With these few points of mind, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that we've been talking about carbon since. Even in chemistry of the industry, X and space, I said that one of the major pollutions we have is CO. That is carbon monoxide. The smoke from um, your generator, from car, all those fumes, they are carbon monoxide and they are very poisonous. They can kill you. There is a part of carbon that is studied specially, that is reserved. 
the compounds of carbon compounds when two or more elements combine chemically we form compounds the compounds of carbon alone this guy you are seeing is more than the compounds of every other element in the periodic table combined if you bring out all the elements in the periodic table and they are compounds the compound of carbon alone is more than all the compounds of every other element put together you see that carbon is also special this is why you need to respect carbon let's say mr carbon how come the compound of carbon is so 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 much so so plenty so so enormous so so countless this is for two reasons one carbon has a unique ability unique ability to catenate catenate what is catenation it is the ability of carbon to combine with itself or to uh, to form an other element as well to form straight chain, branch chain, and ring. If you see something like this, C, 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 H, 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 then you obviously know what catenation is about. You see carbon atom combining to form long chain, they can also form branch chain like long chain branch chain they can as well form a ring so you can have this longer one very long one ring so carbon combined with itself to form so many chains so many compounds in different forms that is catenation so i said that the number one reason we have so many compounds of carbon is because of catenation or the reason we have so many organic compounds is because of catenation number two is hybridization hybridization is missing of orbitals to form an orbital of equivalent energy remember under quantum numbers we did a lot we did a lot and we said a lot about orbitals it is as a result of hybridization that carbon becomes tetravalent. We shall see compounds and their hybridization as we progress. All being said and done, what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is the chemistry or the part of chemistry that studies carbon and its compounds. Not all the compound of carbon. Organic chemistry is a branch of chemistry that studies carbon and its compound, except the cusp of carbon. So, organic chemistry is the study of carbon and its compound, except the cusp of carbon. This is a short code I derived. What is C? Carbides. What is O? Ozides. What is S? Sulfide. And what is the second C? Carbonate. So, organic chemistry is the study of carbon and its compound, except the carbides of carbon, except the oxides of carbon, except the sulfides of carbon, and except the carbonates of carbon. When carbon reacts with metals, we get carbides. Let's see Ca C2. This should be calcium carbides. So anytime you see carbon and metal, they form carbides. When carbon combines with oxygen alone, you form oxide. For example, CO, CO2. Anytime you see carbon and oxygen alone combining, these are oxides. When carbon reacts with sulfur, we get sulfide. So, C, 
This should be this is CS2 should be yeah. Cation carbon sulfide. When carbon reacts with oxygen, like to form CO3 minus, we have carbonate. For example, Na2CO3. This is a carbonate. Now the story is getting more interesting, right? Organic chemistry is the study or the branch of chemistry that studies carbon and its compound with exception. And the exception are the carbides of carbon, the oxide of carbon, the sulfides of carbon, and the carbonate of carbon. If you remove all these guys, every other compound of carbon is what we study under organic chemistry. And generally, when you hear organic chemistry, what comes to your mind? It is natural source. So organic has to be things that are from natural sources. Now, let me leave you with this. The reason we have so many organic compounds are summarized as thus. One, the exceptional ability of carbon to catenate. Two, the ease with which carbon combines with hydrogen combines with oxygen, combines with nitrogen, and combines with the halogens. Three, different arrangements of the atoms in a molecule produces varieties of compounds. Now, when it comes to catenation, apart from carbon, other elements can catenate, like oxygen can catenate, phosphorus, P, P, Phosphorus can catenate as well. But despite the fact that oxygen and phosphorus can catenate, carbon is exceptional. Carbon is the best catenator. So, no competition and no cap. So, this brings us to the end of this episode. Feel free to get the Flash Nana Jam app, begin to play with questions, and feel free to follow this organic chemistry series with an open mind. Because a lot shall be revealed, a lot shall be explained, a lot shall be given out. Subscribe to this channel, the Flash Learners YouTube channel. If you've not, subscribe so that anytime I drop a new video, you'll be the first person to be notified.